Well, good morning, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome. My name is George Kell. I'm the Executive Director of the United Nations Global Compact. Today, we have a special briefing on a success story from Sri Lanka, uh, from the United Nations Global Compact. We believe that this story is of great importance, and we hope it will inspire uh, many others. This is why we chose to share this story with you. Very briefly, the Global Compact is today the world's largest voluntary corporate citizenship initiative with nearly 4,000 participants from over 100 countries, increasingly organized at country level in so-called local networks. And we're very proud and happy that the Global Compact in Sri Lanka is going very strong with uh, several dozen participants. And today, we have the great pleasure to have with us an interesting project which we want to introduce to you. It is a new line of silent tea, which promotes the Global Compact, but also at the same time implements the principles and gives practical meaning to it for the many, many people who are working on plantations. I'm very pleased to have here today with us the chairman of the Halis Group, Mr. Vikre Maratne. To my left, Mr. Bandula Yayasekera, the chairman of Mabrok and Mr. Ravi Fernando, the Director of uh, Corporate Branding and Strategies of MAS Holding, and also our focal point in Sri Lanka for the local network. Uh, Ravi, I turn over to you. Thank you very much. Very good morning, ladies and gentlemen, Ambassador of Sri Lanka. Uh, in order to start the proceedings, we thought we'll start off with a small clip that gives you a feel of what this project is about before the presentation starts. Uh, and let me just go right into it. Imagine the break of dawn over hills of carefully manicured tea gardens. The most picturesque of sceneries, abundant shades of green in the cool, crisp air. Imagine walking through these gardens whilst deftly plucking thousands of tips of tea leaf from only the choicest bushes. Imagine this, and you're a picker of the best teas in the world. Ceylon tea. Nestled in the hills of Ceylon, the Mahagastota Valley in the Norelia region, the Fordyce Valley in the Dimbula region and the Kelani Valley have produced some of the world's finest teas for over a century. Mabrock Kelani Valley Plantations brings you the gold standard in teas from these regions in Ceylon under our new range of single garden and valley teas. is grown on Kelani Valley Plantations, the foremost producer of Ceylon tea. Every pack of single garden and valley tea comes with the assurance of being the purest Ceylon teas produced in our own gardens, utilizing sustainable agricultural practices. Mabrock Teas and Kelani Valley Plantations are part of the Haley's group of companies the number one corporate citizen in Ceylon for the past three years. Mabrock Teas is an international brand marketer of Ceylon teas in over 40 countries. Kelani Valley Plantations produces tea in three agroclimatic regions, covering an area of over 13,000 hectares. It produces over 7 million kilograms of tea annually. Our single garden teas come from our very own plantations. Lover's Leap, Oliphant, Inverness, Robgill, Inges Tree and Halgola. Whilst our valley range also comes from our own plantations in the Mahagastota, Fordyce and Kalani Valleys. The foundation of our beliefs are based on our teas being the purest and cleanest Ceylon tea. Our support of the United Nations Global Compact Principles, our Home for Every Plantation Worker initiative, 
and the health benefits of tea as a beverage makes us uniquely placed to claim that Mabrock Kelleney Valley is the ethical tea brand of the world. Our teas are exclusively grown, harvested and produced in ISO 22000-2005 and HACCP certified factories. They are also SGS TASL products certified and conform to international manufacturing and food quality certification systems. These teas are guaranteed to be from a single garden or valley where they are produced under certified manufacturing processes and stringent quality control methods. Mabrock Kelleney Valley became the first United Nations Global Compact signatory company brand in the world to commit to and communicate the United Nations Global Compact principles, which cover human rights, labor, environment, and anti-corruption to all our consumers. Every pack of single garden and valley tea goes towards providing an improved living environment for over 10,000 families in our Kelleney Valley plantations. The program helps build and upgrade houses, complete with community services for the workers. Each family is assisted through continued preschool, child support and medical facilities to enhance their quality of life. The program empowers each employee through estate worker cooperatives and enhances the individual's value to the community. The ultimate goal is a contented family life for all at Kelleney Valley Plantations. For every pack of Mabrock Kelleney Valley tea sold, the company will contribute 1.5 US cents towards the home for every worker program. Our teas are the purest and cleanest of Ceylon teas, known worldwide for its therapeutic qualities. Tea with a conscience, the ethical tea brand of the world. Mabrock Kelleney Valley Single Garden and Valley Teas brings you, our consumer, a warm feeling, not just because it's the purest Ceylon tea, but because it also makes a difference to the lives of all those who live in our tea gardens. Our teas are available for sale on www.mabrockkvplethicalteas.com. I hope all of you got a brief introduction to the Mabrock Kelney Valley Company and the Haley's Group and the concept of an, a home for every plantation worker program that this company is about to launch today. Very much committed to the global compact. The Kelney Valley Company is part of the Haley's Group and at this time I'd like to warmly welcome our chairman Mr. Tanki Vikramaratna, to say a few words in terms of the Haley's Group and its long journey in terms of ethics and commitment to ethical business over the past nearly 129, 129 years, which is a long time. So over to you, uh, Tanki. Your Excellency Bernard Gunatilaka, Ambassador for Sri Lanka, Mr. Georg Kerr. Executive Director of Global Compact, distinguished invitees, members of the press, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Sri Lanka, formerly Ceylon, is a small country with a great historical tradition. Its societal formations, you may know, developed over 2,500 years of agrarian economy, lives on today influenced by its great neighbor and foreign incursions and trade over the last 500 years. It's a, it's a fairly old country. I speak today about a company, which is also old, which has been synonymous with ethics and integrity and good governance in Sri Lanka. It is also one of Sri Lanka's largest conglomerates and its first multinational, with over 115 manufacturing and marketing outlets, of which 16 are overseas. Haley's, which started as a British trading company more than 129 years ago, has been at the forefront of the nation's transformation from an agriculture to an industry and service-based economy. 
especially in the last 50 years. While it's doing so, it has abided by a code of propriety, sustainable de development, and concern for social development long before these concepts assume their present significance. Haley's business portfolio briefly is structured into four categories agriculture and agribusiness, global markets and manufacturing, infrastructure and transportation, and resorts and consumer. Haley's has undoubtedly made a significant impact on Sri Lanka's, the Sri Lankan economy, by adopting a sustainable development approach to every aspect of its business. Some of these are worth mentioning. For instance, Haley's has consistently demonstrated commitment to transparency and disclosure norms. It won the first prize for the best annual reports and accounts of a public listed company by the Institute of Chartered Accounts of the Accountants of Sri Lanka when it was first presented in 1966 and won it about 25 times thereafter. It is arguably Haley's commitment to ethical business practice has been acknowledged as its most defining character. It is arguably for this reason that two chairmen of the group have served on the monetary authority of the country and one as the governor of the central bank. Uh, I should say that Haley's in its 129 years has had nine chairmen. I'm the ninth and I took over about uh, two months ago. My predecessor has spoken out clearly against corruption and patronage politics. Our stand on this has been uncompromising, though we lose business in the short term. We believe that eventually our corporate value will be enriched by our principles. Haley's has set an example in conforming to the best labor standards of the country. Freedom of association is assured, and nearly all the company's manual employees belong to unions and bargain collectively. Sri Lanka has a high level of labor protection covered by the statutes reflecting the many ILO standards the country has ratified. Haley's commitment to the environment from, is evident from the green of our corporate logo. All our manufacturing facilities are ISO 9000 certified and some are certified or targeted to for ISO 14000 certification. The energy of our manufacturing facilities have over more than 20 years been converting to renewable forms of energy such as fuel wood and biomass. The plantations are managed conforming to the best agricultural standards with the least possible damage to the environment. The plant plantations themselves are more than 120 to 150 years old. Our rubber plantations are certified by the Forest Stewardship Council of the United Kingdom as well-managed forests. Haley's contribution to society has been recognized by our peers at the, at the premier trade association of Sri Lanka, the Ceylon Chamber of Commerce, being a judge, Sri Lanka's best corporate citizen in all three years or since the inception of the award in 2004. With our manufacturing facilities and marketing networks spread across the country, Haley's in, is integrated into local communities. Haley's has demonstrated over the years commitment to the values enriched in the global compact. These values are at the heart of Haley's. We are proud to be associated, sir, with the UN Global Compact as its principles resonate strongly with the high integrity and ethics that we have maintained in the group since its inception 129 years ago in 1878. Today we have taken another step in our journey as a global citizen with the launch of the Mabrock Calnibari range of ethical teas. I thank you for your participation and attention. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Chairman, sir. Uh, it, is, it has been truly an honor to bring Haley's group on board with the UN Global Compact. And I thank the work that my colleagues of the Global Compact also did to help us bring Haley's very much into the fold because when the best corporate citizen is part of the Global Compact, then it sends a strong message to every other company in Sri Lanka. At this stage, I'd like to invite the chairman of Mabrock, uh, Mr. Bandula Jayasekara, to make a short presentation on the range of uh, Mabrock Kalni Valley teas that uh, are being launched today and some of the 
intricate details which probably weren't captured in the video. Uh, over to you, Mr. Chairman. <coughs> Thank you. Good morning, Your Excellency uh, Bernard Gunatilaka, Sri Lankan Ambassador to the United States. Mr. Gyeong Kel, Executive Director of the Global Compact Office. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. The choicest wines, I'm sure as all of you know, come from the best valleys in France, California, Australia and South Africa. And Germany. And probably many, many other countries. <laughs> the finest wines never are never blended, but they always have a distinct single origin which characterizes its flavor. Why is it then that tea, the world's most popular beverage, is blended? Well, the question we always pose is, is it cost driven? Is that the reason why is it blended? Well, we'll, we'll try to find the answers for that. As with wines, every tea producing region has its own unique character when it comes to aroma, liquor and taste. Did you know that there are almost twice as many tea drinkers in the world as there are coffee drinkers worldwide? As part of the uh, part of the world of Haley's, we have now teamed up with our sister company, Kelani Valley Plantations, to bring you our latest line of single origin teas, Mabrock, Kelani Valley, Single Garden and Valley Teas. These teas are unique, not simply because they come from a single origin, within six of our very own gardens and valleys, but also because they are the truly ethical tea brand of the world. Our teas are the purest and cleanest Ceylon teas, produced and packed in our very own gardens. All our factories produce teas to the highest grades specified by internationally accepted food safety and quality management systems. The Mabrock Kalani Valley Tea Range is the first ever United Nations Global Compact signatory brand in the world to commit to and communicate the United Nations Global Compact principles to all its consumers. In fact, we do introduce a leaflet into all our packs which we export from Sri Lanka. And that is to give you an idea of what it is which uh, spells out everything about Global Compact and uh, what, what we are doing. Through our Home for Every Plantation Worker program, we make a difference to better the lives of our workers by improving their living conditions, their environment, supporting health and nutrition, creating community and capacity building initiatives, and empowering communities. Together, these initiatives will help our teas to improve the lives and well-being of those who help us to produce the best teas in the world. For every pack of Mabrock Single Garden and Valley teas sold, we pledge a minimum of 1.5 US cents to this program. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Bandhu Jayasekara, Chairman of Mabrock. At this stage, I'd like to invite the Ambassador of Sri Lanka, Mr. Bernard Gunatilika, to speak a few words. <coughs> no, please. Okay. Thank you. 
Good morning, everybody. Uh, Mr. George Kell, Executive Director and Staff at the UNGC Headquarters. Mr. N.G. Vikramaratna, Chairman and CEO of uh, Haley's Group. Mr. Bandula Jayasekar, Chairman of Mabrook. Ladies and gentlemen, I consider it a great privilege and honor to be with you in New York this morning, where the contribution made by a truly Sri Lankan company in promoting the UNGC principles is recognized at the level of United Nations. Let me therefore extend my sincere thanks at the very outset to Mr. George Kell and his staff for making all the arrangements to host this important event and to Mr. Vikramanathan Jayasekara for inviting me to join this happy occasion. It is heartening to note that Mabrook Kalinivali Plantations, an affiliate of the Haley's group, has become the first member within the entire UNGC network to communicate the UNGC principles to the world in a very practical and an effective manner. I am particularly happy with the fact that Mabrook made this great achievement through Ceylon tea, a household commodity so familiar to millions of people around the world. Talking of tea, allow me to say a few words on Ceylon tea and its significance to the Sri Lankan economy. No Sri Lankan would have ever even imagined that Ceylon tea would play such a vital role within our economy when James Taylor, a Scottish planter, made the first test tea plantation in Lul Kondera, a remote area in the island's hill country in 1867. Similarly, nobody would have even thought at that time Ceylon tea would become such a popular daily need, not only to Sri Lankans, but also to the millions of people all over the world. The reality, however, is that today Sri Lanka has become the largest exporter of black tea in the world. We export well over 300 million kilograms of tea to the international market every year. Tea is number two foreign exchange earner in Sri Lanka after textiles and clothing. Our tea industry, the largest employer in, the, in Sri Lanka, provides direct and indirect job opportunities for over one million people. The extent of tea cultivation covers nearly 190 hectares, and above all, Ceylon tea is acclaimed as the best tea in the world, and I believe you would agree with me on this. It is not an exaggeration to say that Ceylon tea and Sri Lanka have become synonymous. It is almost impossible for anyone to speak of Sri Lanka without referring to Ceylon tea. The image of Ceylon tea and the role it plays in enhancing the image of the country is quite significant. I am sure that the UNGC recognition would encourage Mabrook to further dedicate themselves to support and promote UNGC principles. It will also inject a fresh impetus to further enhance the image of Ceylon tea among the international community. At the same time, the example set by Mabrook should encourage other entrepreneurs around the world to follow suit and have a closer look at the way they conduct their businesses. It is very important for the international business community to pay more attention to the principles envisaged under the UN Global Compact if they are to be respected and regarded by the vast members of the people around the world. Before I conclude, let me mention once again that as Sri Lankan Ambassador to the United States, I feel very much privileged and honored to be present on this historic occasion and to be associated with entrepreneurs and organizations who make sincere efforts to usher a better world for all through promotion of universal values. We need more and more benevolent partners like you to make this world a better place. Mr. Kail, Mr. Vikramaratna, Mr. Jayasekara, ladies and gentlemen, I wish you all success in your endeavors. Thank you very much. If I can just invite you to leave uh, there with us in a few more minutes, uh, Mr. Ambassador. Okay. I'd, I'd like to at this stage open the floor to any questions that you might have in terms of the presentation we've had this morning. And uh, yes, sir. Uh, I'm with Sustainable Development Media. And I have a very special interest in your presentation because uh, in the early 1980s, I met a Sri Lankan, who was Puna Vignaracha, who was a, a, the executive secretary of the Society for International Development. Now, he already then was talking about 
alternative development strategies programs, and he was talking about sustainable livelihood approaches. And my question to you is, how do you, did you manage to incorporate these sort of ideas that were quite revolutionary in those days when where the key was just development? But he said development was not enough. Now, he also was talking about biomass for fuel. He was talking already about alternative energy. He was involved with the first Vienna meeting on outer space because he was already interested through remote sensing, that is 1981, 25 years ago, to take inventory of the possibilities of doing biomass and biofuels. Uh, my question really is, how do you manage to incorporate this? And if you feel that actually Sri Lankan was a forerunner for sustainable development. Mr. Mr. Gretner, would you like to answer that question? Yes, I would say I don't know the specific work of the gentleman you mentioned. But I do know that uh, we have uh, been using, like I said, for 20 years, uh, Sri Lanka is not a uh, rich country. And it, uh, oil has been uh, very expensive for it all the time. So we have had an incentive to uh, uh, have fuel wood forests. The tea plantations themselves are organized to have more and more fuel wood forests. In fact, uh, it is only about 30 years ago that they converted to oil. And they've gone back into making fuel wood uh, and biomass uh, energy sources. We are using more and more the, uh, the, the uh, topography of Sri Lanka lends itself to mini hydro schemes. So we are using those. We are using a lot of solar energy. And we are using now wind energy because Sri Lanka is also, because its topography is, it's rises from the plates very sharply into the hills. So it creates ideal wind conditions for windmills. So these are things that the country is doing. Does okay. that answer your question, sir? If I can just add one more comment. Uh, in terms of solar energy, today Sri Lanka is among the top three in terms of per capita consumption of solar energy in that part of the world. Because we've converted into solar energy quite rapidly. So Sri Lanka does have a heritage of uh, moving towards sustainable uh, renewable energies. So. Is it black box solar energy or uh, uh, photovoltaics? Sorry? black box solar energy or photovoltaics? Portable types. Portable types. Portable types. Yes. Do you produce a PV? No, no. we import it. OK. Thank you for that question. Are there any other questions? Yes, sir. Sure. Uh, in, uh, yeah. uh, hi. hi. Uh, thanks for the very interesting presentation. Um, I was doing so, some, some research. And, I, and it, obviously, here at the UN, one of the things that we, we are obviously here in terms of Sri Lanka about some about the conflict. We had a report on, on children in armed conflict recently. And also, given that, that the, the, at the UN, peace and security is like a major thing that we cover, I'd seen an article where, where Philip Morris was going to visit the Haley's group in Sri Lanka, but somehow canceled it. This was back in September. They were going to visit about their, their, uh, their um, uh, production of cigarette filters with Haley's. So I wonder how, I mean, I, the, the, the presentation is beautiful, and I have no, it's very clear. I guess I wanted to know how the ethical principles of Haley and, and participation in the Global Compact, if you feel it has any, it, 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 has, it has any positive role in Sri Lanka in trying to, in trying to, in, in promoting peace and security, and, and, and also how this, I mean, it may seem like a small thing, how this production of, of cigarette filters is consistent with, with uh, I think it said there's something in your website about environment and health and stuff like that. So I'd appreciate it. Uh, I think you're asking several questions. I, can I, I can break them down. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you for the uh, The cigarette filters, uh, take the first one, cigarette filters. We, uh, we sell uh, activated carbon. We sell the best activated carbon for filters. And that is not only for cigarette filters, for all kinds of applications. The important thing is to take whatever that you want to take out from a given media uh, by using uh, uh, specific targeted and um, uh, carbon. So if, if you, is that, does, is that all right? I mean, no, no, it's not, that, it's not for me to say it's all right or not. I just wanted no, to No, no, is address. that answering your question? Y uh, yes, it is. I might ask Mr. Kell if he, if he, if he, if he if when you were near done, just whether right. he thinks, this, let's say, the cigarette issue has any role in the, in the global compact. That would be a separate question. Well, what we would not do is, uh, is, uh, uh, if somebody is interested in 
buying our product, we don't, unless we know for certain, if it is, it's a mainstream, a mainstream business and a very reputed business, we would, we would not, not sell. It's not in a, uh, to, to produce a, a, a better quality filter, we will sell the carbon for it. As for, as for the, what we do with the uh, conflict, that's a more difficult, uh, difficult question. Sri Lanka has had the conflict for 20 years, and uh, Haley's has really been an anchor of stability in the south of Sri Lanka. Otherwise, uh, you might have had even greater turbulence. So these, there, there are many companies which, uh, not only Haley's, but also other companies, who create a huge amount of um, stability within the country. And you should recognize that most of the most of the communities of Sri Lanka live in the south of Sri Lanka and uh, the work that we do and the employment that we create including the plantations are uh, ethnic uh, Indian Tamils so we run these plantations and run them peacefully for the we've done so for the last 15 years okay. so if I can just add a comment there uh, in terms of the activated carbon Haley's are probably the world one of the top uh, activated carbon manufacturer in, in the world and there are many, many applications people buy the carbon for. So this is one of probably it's a, it's a very small many, many, many applications. So we sell uh, pretty much the carbon for it. In terms of the conflict situation, I think one of the great things about Haley's is it is truly a multi-ethnic company. Uh, Mr. Vikramratna already shared with you how the composition in, in terms of the plantation teams, both at management level, yeah. both at director level, and both at worker level, has an extremely good blend of all three ethnicities. And I must say, uh, having worked in Sri Lankan multinationals and Sri Lankan uh, and multinationals, uh, what I do find is that organizations like this play a huge role in bringing about both camaraderie and understanding amongst peoples. And I think uh, things could have been much worse if not for the robustness of our private and multinational organizations because they bring about an ethnic harmony that is almost uh, not comparable otherwise. So I hope that answers your question. Can I also say a few yes, words sir. about children, you, Sri Lanka and conflict? Yeah. Uh, one thing uh, one has to bear in mind is the fact in Sri Lanka uh, over a period of time Education has been made compulsory for children. Children, It is free from the day you enter into school, the first day, until you come out of the university at the age of 21, 22, 23. That includes university education. The textbooks are given free of charge to the children. So are the uniforms. So in short, whether you are in a conflict-ridden area or in the southern part of the country, irrespective of where you reside, children have access to education up to the university free of charge. The second aspect is even uh, in the conflict areas, when it is necessary for the children to be immunized, for example, the government and the rebel movement will uh, observe uh, a ceasefire during the period when UNICEF or some government agency would undertake that immunization. That means we care for our children irrespective of the fact that we fight. And over, uh, the most important factor is the uh, education is available even in the, those areas which are dominated by the <coughs> Tamil Tigers or the LTTE. And education is paid and all expenses for running of schools and teachers are made by the government, even in those areas. So that demonstrates the fact how much the government and the society cares for its children, even during the unfortunate period of conflict in Sri Lanka. Thank you, Mr. Ambassador. Uh, our chairman of uh, Haley's alluded to the fact that uh, Sri Lanka's main two exports are apparel and uh, tea. Uh, probably 50 odd percent comes from apparel and 17 percent comes from tea together nearly 70 percent. I think one of the other key principles that we are very proud as Sri Lankans to talk about is that 
in line with the UN Global Compact and the commitment to abolition of child labor, it's an area that Sri Lanka can be proud about because in none of these sectors do we have employ child labor. So much so that the European Union granted a special GSP status in terms of the barrel sector uh, only because of the fact that child labor is not prevalent in our country. So I thought as children was the topic that it might be a good idea to bring that point in. Uh, are there any other questions, ladies and gentlemen? Could we maybe get, uh, if, if there are no other questions, Mr. Kell, to, to, to address this issue, kind of this overarching issue of whether, whether you think participation in the Global Compact has a role to play in, in, in not just hu you know, human rights and the other, but in the peace and security functions of the UN, and also whether you see any relation between you know, on, on the continuum, the tobacco industry and even the production of these filters and the principles of the, of the compact. First, I have to state very clearly, we are very proud that the Halis Group has joined the compact. Halis Group reputation is, is very solid. It is uh, a corporate citizen uh, which will greatly enhance uh, the global compact's credibility. And the project which has been introduced today is of global significance and breaks new grounds for us in, in many different ways. It is social marketing, ethical marketing, but combined with practical implementation. We very much welcome this and we are very proud and happy to have the Halis Group with us. On the role of business and conflict, yes, we have a, a whole work stream going on on this and we are convinced, as uh, has been said already, business is a stabilizing force, especially if business is done in a responsible manner. Wherever business brings together different ethnical groups and demonstrates that Working together, living together is not only doable, but it's beneficial. This not only helps to overcome tensions, reduce prejudices, but generally is a contributing force towards a more peaceful collaborative efforts. Uh, in Sri Lanka, of course, we very much hope that these stabilizing islands will spread more rapidly, and, uh, but we fully recognize the stabilizing positive role of commerce, business, if done in a responsible manner. There are ample case studies and uh, my expert here, Melissa Powell, is here. We have done many projects around the world on this subject. She will be able to give very specific examples from all regions of the world. So in summary, we are very proud and happy for us. This is a very important day. Not only does it put Sri Lanka on the map and the role of responsible uh, business practices, it also shows us that the good practices and examples come from all over the world. And we are very proud and happy to have Sri Lanka very big on our map now. We have one other small event. Sorry. Oh, I just wanted to use the cigarette filter issue. I don't know. If I, I, don't, I don't believe it's a very serious issue. Uh, of course, we discourage, uh, 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 World Health Organization discourages uh, tobacco uh, smoking cigarettes very much. It's recognized as a killer number one. But we see this as a tertiary or secondary role. And the main product of our presentation here was tea. It is about tea drinking and uh, the virtues of, of good and ethically produced tea. Uh, there's also no explicit prohibition on tobacco on top of this. It is a fully legal product, uh, at least in uh, almost all countries of the world, as far as I'm aware of. Uh, so we do not see this as an ethical issue. Great. Uh, at this time, I'd like to call upon the chairman of Mabrock and the chairman of uh, Haley's to hand over. Uh, OK, if you can just give the photographer a moment. Uh, to hand over the clerk to the Mr. Gyokel, the executive director. And so you could also be very thank much you. in there. Well, thank you very much. This is a great honor. <coughs> thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, so thank you very much. Uh, let me thank on behalf of uh, both Global Compact and the Haley's Group and Mabrock, every one of you who have taken your time to be with us. And thank you very much. And I, I, I presume we come to the end of today's media conference. Thank you thank all you. very much. Thank you, Ravi. Thank you.